Bullshit. This was Will's reaction and response after what Kate had told him while they were in a private room away from everyone. All the killings and the cicadas were directly related. Someone out there was transforming the dead into humanoids. So all the cicadas they were seeing were once people. These were the victims. Most of their humanity has been erased. They now behave like animals. But there was never an intention of being evil. They were more like wild animals that were confused or upset because of the amount of neon lights and noise there is in this city. What they needed to do instead was to help them or find the person that was turning them into these mutations. Kate, while in white lady form, somehow got to interact with one. She sensed fear and intimidation. So she tried to have one approach her, much like how she would try to befriend street cats. Using the compact fabricator and translator pod she made, she soon understood why one of the cicadas she was tracking looked like it recognized a photograph it was holding. It was because that this was his family picture, back when he was still human. Will was incredibly stubborn and refused to listen to what Kate was trying to tell him. He was so deep in his work as the owl that he'd started to have shutters all around. It was all now based on his instinct and not the input of anyone else, not even Kate. Kate, however, was more concerned than confrontational. She held Will's hand and it finally caught his attention. Will apologized and sat on a chair. He mentioned that he was a little bit shell-shocked by what he'd been seeing lately. But he never told Kate about the dream he just had. Kate took Will's head and hugged him tight. A simple it's okay and a tight snuggle never failed to soothe Will's anxiety about things. He can't imagine living a life without Kate. She took Will's hands and removed the modular owl gauntlets and massaged his wrists. The strain his body gets trying to wield his suit powered by magnetism was intense, even if it was made to augment his strength. They both suited up and finally had a discussion with their guests. 